What if I told you that everything you're going to experience tomorrow, next year, or even in the next decade is already written? That the concept of future as we understand it is just an illusion and everything, your past, present, and future is happening right now. Today, we're going to dive deep into this mind-bending concept that challenges everything we think we know about time. We typically perceive time as a linear journey, moving from one moment to the next. But what if our perception is just that, a perception? Emerging scientific theories suggest that time might not march forward as we believe, but instead all moments exist simultaneously. Imagine the implications. Every decision, every moment of your life is not sequential, but parallel. Every world event and even every moment in your life is happening right here, right now. Your current understanding of linear time is what makes life easier to navigate. Now imagine a world where you know that everything you ever did, are doing, or will do is happening right now, at this very moment. How will you go about your everyday life with such a complex understanding of time? In such a case, every second of your time will be spent thinking and calculating about what is real and what's not. What is the past or the future? Clearly not an ideal way to live your life. Or perhaps it's just that our knowledge about time is so basic that any other way of approaching it seems irrational or impractical. Our linear view of time, seeing ourselves as progressing from birth to adulthood to old age, helps our brain structure our lives. However, challenging this view with the block universe theory can reveal new perspectives on existence. The block universe theory proposes that the universe is a four-dimensional block where past, present, and future all exist simultaneously. But what are the four dimensions of this block? Three of them are spatial dimensions like length, height, and width, and the fourth is a temporal dimension, which is also called time. This theory stems from Einstein's general theory of relativity, which was published in the year 1915. This theory has become an important tool in our perception of time. Understanding that all moments exist simultaneously in the block universe, let's explore its practical implications. If every financial opportunity or challenge exists now, how might this change our approach to financial planning? In light of the block universe theory, where every event from your birth to your retirement exists simultaneously, consider the profound implications for your financial strategy. If every financial success and failure you will ever encounter exists now, you can approach financial planning with a mindset focused on tapping into those successes rather than avoiding failures. Let's explore how you can use this perspective for financial gain. Imagine aligning your actions with the version of yourself who has achieved the highest financial prosperity. Think of it as attuning to a successful financial frequency in this eternal now. By adopting financial strategies that are proven to succeed and consistently aligning your actions with best practices, you essentially choose the most favorable financial path laid out in the block universe. This approach doesn't just change how you think about money, it fundamentally alters your financial behaviors, encouraging you to engage with your finances as if success is already assured. This approach transforms our financial outcomes by allowing us to navigate toward success that already exists in our timeline, rather than merely reacting to situations as they arise. Now that we've explored the financial implications, let's delve into another fascinating aspect of the block universe theory time travel. Stephen Hawking says, time travel used to be thought of as just science fiction, but Einstein's general theory of relativity allows for the possibility that we could warp space-time so much that you could go off in a rocket and return before you set out. Imagine a car speeding by on the highway. To you it moves quickly, but to the passengers inside it feels like they're not moving because they're traveling at the same speed as the car. This illustrates relative motion. The groundbreaking theory also describes the universe as a four-dimensional space-time continuum in which everything is happening all at once, and every moment is equally real in the unchanging box. According to relativity, the faster you travel, the slower you experience time. Imagine you're speeding in a car. To you, time feels normal, but to someone watching from outside, your clock seems to tick slower. This effect, known as time dilation, shows how speed can alter how we perceive time. This phenomenon isn't just science fiction. It's a proven aspect of physics that challenges our everyday perception of time. Apart from speed, 
The gravitational pull on an object also changes how time passes for an object. If the object has a stronger gravitational pull, time will flow slower for it. For example, the GPS satellites, which are away from the gravitational mass, which is our Earth, experience time moving faster as compared to us being on Earth. Why does time move slower for us as compared to the satellites? Simple. Because the intensity of Earth's gravitational pull is stronger on us as compared to the GPS satellite. But how do we reconcile these differences in time? We actually adjust the time to account for these effects of relativity, ensuring that when it reaches us, it fits within our own understanding of time. This practical application of a complex theory shows just how interconnected and precise our universe is. As you move faster and faster, time moves slower and slower for you. Suppose you move almost as fast as the speed of light. In that case, you can observe the future of the universe unfolding right in front of your eyes in a matter of seconds because time would be moving very slowly for you. While for the rest of the objects, time would be moving faster relative to your point of view. On a quantum level, time behaves symmetrically. It can move forward or backward equally. This raises the question, if time doesn't flow at the quantum level, why does it seem to flow forward in our everyday lives? Despite our best efforts, the true nature of time remains a profound mystery. The question remains, if time is merely an illusion, why does it feel like it flows continuously for us? Well, there could be a few possible reasons for this. Our brains are wired to perceive time sequentially, helping us navigate life through a cause and effect understanding. Understanding time linearly helps our brain compartmentalize moments of our life into three distinct boxes, the past, the present, and the future. Each of the three boxes is incredibly important and interrelated, and one wouldn't exist without the other. Our memories store past moments, helping us learn and retain information. Without memory, we'd need to relearn everything constantly, wasting energy and resources. Memories shape our identity, allowing us to learn from past mistakes and improve our future. Another reason time might theoretically be an illusion that still feels real to us is because human civilization and societies are structured around the phenomenon of time. The idea that time is flowing forward and in one direction is a part of the collective human consciousness. That is why we have invented items like calendars, clocks, and history books. So it might be a little comforting to know that even if we are deluding ourselves into thinking that time is real, still this delusion is shared by all of humanity. And that is why it works for us. And no matter how hard one tries, one cannot break free from this delusion as everything around them is organized to support the status quo. All right, coming back to the idea of everything happening all at once. If everything in the block is happening simultaneously and there is no present, past, or future, does that imply that everything is predetermined? Yes, theoretically. There is a long-standing debate between free will and determinism, raising questions about human agency and its responsibility as an inhabitant of this planet. If everything is predetermined, then it means a human being essentially has no will. Does this mean we can hold him accountable for his actions? As we ponder the balance between determinism and free will, it's crucial to consider how this relates to financial decision-making. If we operate within a universe where all events are interconnected and exist simultaneously, our financial decisions, although seemingly free, are also part of this vast interconnected tapestry. This doesn't diminish the importance of making wise financial choices. Rather, it emphasizes the power of informed decision-making in shaping our financial destiny. Reflecting on this, let's consider how understanding these complex theories can empower us to make more strategic financial choices. By viewing our financial decisions through the lens of both free will and determinism, we can strive to create a financial reality that aligns with our most prosperous paths. Each financial choice we make is not just about the immediate benefits, but also about setting a trajectory towards a financially abundant future. As we navigate our financial decisions within the interconnected block universe, aligning with divine guidance can provide a deeper sense of purpose. By seeing each financial choice as part of a divine plan, we harmonize our actions with a greater design. This not only enriches our financial practices with spiritual depth, but also ensures our decisions are purposeful and connected to a larger cosmic plan. Now, considering this interconnectedness, 
and the predetermination in a block universe, let's explore a more contentious implication of determinism on human actions. Let's say a person executes a bank robbery. From a deterministic perspective, this robbery was already a part of the time-space fabric, and the robber, in this case, really had no free will to choose out of it. So it means we let the robber go without penalizing him for his actions? These ethical questions are truly mind-bending if we view the world from a deterministic perspective. This is where the other side, the proponents of free will, come in. They argue that because we have the ability to reflect on our decisions and make decisions means that we possess free will. We have agency over what happens to us in this world, and nothing is predetermined. In that case, a person can be held responsible for their actions. If we stick with Einstein's theory of relativity, everything is happening in the now, yet everyone has a different now based on their perception. Your present moment might be different from someone's present moment who is away from you, yet your now is as real as theirs. And a collection of these infinite nows make up the universe. This profound understanding invites us to reconsider conventional notions of time. Talking about time and its implications, have you ever thought about time travel? An interesting thought experiment relative to time travel is the grandfather paradox, which claims that when a component of the past is manipulated in any way, it can result in inconsistency in the present and the future, hence creating a paradox. So if a time traveler goes back in time and assassinates his own grandfather, would he, the time traveler, ever be born? No, that wouldn't be possible since his grandfather wouldn't have had kids, and hence the time traveler's father would have never been born as well. This scenario becomes even creepier if we think that if the grandfather was killed before he could have had kids, then who came from the future and killed him? On the basis of the grandfather paradox, many scientists argue that time travel is not possible, but if we choose to see everything happening in the infinite now, then why shouldn't such a feat be possible? Stephen Hawking theorized that time travel could be possible, but only through a wormhole, which can be understood as a shortcut between two points in space. Maybe one day someone living in the future will find the information and use a wormhole time machine to come back to my party, proving that time travel will one day be possible. Stephen Hawking No matter how much we experiment with the idea of time, we can never fully grasp it. And perhaps that is why it's so interesting to debate if time is real or not. So let me ask you now, if all moments are equally real, how does that change the way you view each moment? Your comments are welcomed. If you thought this video was insightful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more empowering content. Until next time, keep attracting abundance in every aspect of your life. See you in the next video.